गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स एंड वन सेकेंड वेलकम फ्रॉम शेयर स्टडिंग स्कूल डॉट कॉम टूडे टेंथ ऑगस्ट टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन निफ्टी इन कंसॉलिडेशन एंड फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट टू एक्चुअली क्रॉस एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू हाई वी हैव टेकन अ टारगेट एट थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी फाइव एज पर आर डेली चार्ट वेर इज एज पर आर वीकली चार्ट वी हैव प्रोटेड एक्सटेंशन इन लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज इफ यू कैन सी दैट our target is double 825 which is actually a 50% extension level uh, as per rsi we have actually touched 70 level which is a overbought level in a weekly chart so chances are there that here market will remain in a consolidation though 70 is a level where in actually if it touches it shows it's a overbought but that does not mean that next moment it will come down Overbought can become extremely overbought like this here in this area. Nifty had uh, touched seventy and still it has extended north. Actually, uh, as soon as somewhere here, if you see Nifty touched seventy, or even if you uh, see somewhere here, it has touched almost seventy at this area. But after that, it extended for some uh, few bullish bar and then it had taken a correction. So. When RSI touches seventy, correction is expected, but that does not mean next bar it will start. It will test some strong resistance like Fibonacci extension level or previous accumulation, and then that time it will correct. At this moment, um, RSI price is finding very difficult to cross this level of eight thousand seven hundred and eleven because this is an area wherein in the past it has tested a resistance. So. Actually, eight thousand eight hundred level to eight thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. This is a zone wherein we will expect a strong resistance for Nifty, and uh, probably as per weekly chart, it should correct. So weekly chart is showing us that eight thousand eight hundred and twenty-five is a maximum target for Nifty, and then we will see a correction. As per our daily chart, we have seen a past accumulation, and then we have plotted a resistance somewhere here. This is eight thousand. This resistance. Which is eight thousand eight hundred and forty-four. If I'll convert it into weekly chart again, you will be able to see that this high, eight thousand eight hundred and forty-four, and uh, somewhere here maximum close, last close that is eight thousand eight hundred seven hundred and eighty. So this is a zone wherein we are expecting a strong resistance after every twenty twenty-five point. That is first resistance will be eight thousand seven hundred and eighty. Second resistance will be eight thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. And third resistance will be eight thousand eight hundred and forty. So these are all resistance which are expected, and that too, uh, when RSI is in overbought uh, condition, then chances are there that it should correct and uh, proper correction should be seen. Now I have uh, converted this daily chart into our intraday week uh, chart, intraday four hourly chart. I'll just uh, I'm just showing you. As per four hourly chart, Nifty has actually touched twenty EMA. Trend is bullish because 150 and 20 averages are straight going up, and this trend, uh, which is started from here, is a strong bullish. So, uh, what strategy we can design actually for Nifty is a simple strategy. Um, I have just converted now this uh, three hourly chart, just because Nifty has been testing an excellent support at 20 EMA as per three hourly chart. And uh, at present, it is about 20 MA. Yesterday only it has tested at 20 MA as a support, and then it has moved north. Now, my strategy would be if Nifty crosses 8,690 level, just this green line which I am showing you, 8,690 level, then I can think of going long, and I will keep a target of 8,725 this red line. So above eight thousand six hundred and ninety, I shall I will go long and I'll keep my target of eight thousand seven hundred and twenty-five, and I'll put a stop loss below eight thousand six hundred and thirty-six, which is twenty EMA. In case uh, Nifty crosses eight thousand six hundred and thirty-eight, then I'll think of going short, and then I'll keep a target of eight thousand five hundred and ninety to eight thousand six hundred. So. These two strategies, both strategies will be only intraday, and I'll just square off my position at the end of the day. In uh, if whatever comes first, my target or my stop loss. 
If I'll go short below this white line that is 8,638 blue line my target and my stop loss will be green line that is 8,689. If green line crosses not then I'll go long then I'll keep this white line that is 8,638 as a stop loss and 8,720.25 will be my target so this is a simple plan strategy which i'll be following today and at the end of the day i'll just square up all those positions if in case nifty crosses 8725 then i'll trail my stop loss to 8690 and i'll continue my long position because trend is bullish but i'll scare off my short position at the end of the day irrespective of whatever condition so Trail your stop loss if Nifty crosses 8,728 level 2 uh, instead of 8,638 that time you should uh, keep your stop loss 8,690. This is a strategy uh, which we should follow today if we are uh, trading in a Nifty. Thank you very much and happy trading.